How's it going, guys? Day three. Well, it's test day. All right. It's cold outside. I just came from the classroom across. Hang on, let me catch my breath. All right, day three. Woke up this morning. Uh, there's three different test times on day three. You get here on Sunday. You have your first class Monday morning, second class Tuesday morning, and then your third day you take a test to get your permit. Today is day three. It's Wednesday and test day. I went in this morning at 10.30, took my test. You'll go into a little training center with Miss Judy, and she will go over the rules with you what you can bring into the room with you and what you can't bring, what you can do and can't do. Then two DOT ladies came and got us from the classroom and took us into another room where they had laptops set up with the test on them. We took the test. Ah, getting a phone call. Call them back. So you go in and take the test, 50 Questions on the first test, 25 on the second, and 25 on the third. You're allowed to miss 10 questions on each test, I believe. No, 10 on the first 50. Not sure on the second two. But I missed three questions total, so all three tests I only missed three questions. So I passed. I got my CDL permit for Iowa. Not a big deal. I already had my permit before I came here, so not a big deal. My next step... After you pass the test, if you pass all three tests, you get the next two days free. You don't have to do anything. So I get to wake up in the morning when I want to. I don't have to do anything but stay in bed if I want to. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Now, hmm, I've had some other questions. I'm trying to remember what the questions were. I had them wrote down, but I don't have my notepad here with me. After you pass the test and you're two days free or up, Saturday, you will go into your first school classroom. You go over to NADA, which is North American Driver Training Academy. You will go over there and start your first class on Saturday. So that's my next step, and it goes over pre-trips. Pre-trips are very easy, very easy. Now on the bed bug question I was asked, I was asked to go deeper and get into the, some seams of the mattress. I actually cannot get into my mattress. It has a cover on it. They put a new cover on every mattress Mattress after someone leaves and someone new shows up. Now, I didn't see this before, but they actually have a sign on my door here. And it says, I don't know if you can see that, but it says, do not remove do not take off the zippered mattress pad cover. Thank you. That's what it says. So I'm glad I didn't take it off. I would have got charged for it. Some outrageous price. I haven't had a chance to do the video for the tour of the building yet. I just haven't had a chance. And what else? Uh, okay, they reimbursed me for my money. For the hotel room from Nashville, two days there. I stayed there for two nights, $200 a night. So they reimbursed me every dime of that money. Two days, Wednesday, and they said they would have it about 1 o'clock. I went over there at 1 and I didn't have it. But at 2 o'clock, they did have it. She gave me cash money. So that was good. They did do that. All the negative comments and negative reviews I have seen on this place are not true. They are not true. So far, I'm only I've only been here three days. And so far, the people are awesome. The food, the food's not great. It's freaking, it's trucker food. I mean, if you can't handle the food, truck stop food, you don't need to be here anyways. It's cold. It's very cold. But I've already got used to the weather a little bit. Fell on the ice quite a few times already walking. The snow looks like snow, but it's not. It's compressed snow, so it's basically ice. If you walk on it, you slide. You don't sink into it. You slide across it. Other than that, uh, I've had a question about what is free here. They say that it's free training. It's free in a way. They 
you don't have to pay anything up front to be here. They lodge you. They give you a breakfast and a lunch. The free part is you don't have to pay them back for the schooling. You pay them $40 a week out of your paycheck. You get paid twice a week also. On a Tuesday and then on a Thursday, you get paid twice a week. But they take $40 out of your paycheck until your lodging and your transportation fees are paid back. So the bus ticket it costs you to get here and what, how, how much ever they they charge $163 a week to stay here in their lodging. And you're going to be here for about four weeks. So once that fee is paid off and your trip to get here is paid off, you don't owe them anything. So you, the schooling is free. It is free. They don't make you pay that back. You do have to sign an eight month contract with them. And if you do not finish that contract, they will post on your DAC report. So, I mean, you're screwed. You won't be able to get a job anywhere else if you do not finish the eight months. But, yeah, it's a good place so far. Now, you do – a lot of the other companies do pay more to their starter when you're starting off. They do. But you also have to pay for that training yourself. They don't pay for your training. So eight months isn't a bad thing. Isn't bad. I mean, I can do eight months here and then move on to something better or possibly get a pay raise and like stay here. But so far, I enjoy it here. People are great. The weather sucks, but that's about it. I would. I am going to do the tour of the building tonight. I promise you guys, and I will get this video up for you as soon as possible. If you have any questions, ask, leave them in the comments, and I will let you know what happens tomorrow. Y'all have a great day.